Hey guys, this is an introductory video for Kafka. In this video, let's discuss what Kafka is, why do we need to use it, and what topics are in a Kafka, and what are the partitions, and how to effectively use each of those. So let's get started. So Kafka is a messaging system, as everybody knows, and it is used almost in 80% of the use cases within the industry where you need to integrate multiple source systems and target systems don't get afraid i'll explain you in detail what that means and how how to effectively use kafka so for example let's let's study a use case um, so if i'm having a company and uh, there are three different types of data streams that are coming into uh, our systems um, we have like order info tracking info and payment info order info has information related to order for example you have placed an order uh, of uh, an ear pods or something they, you get the order info of the quantity of what type of product you have placed etc in tracking info you'll get details on when this package would be shipped and what is the tracking number which carrier it's being shipped through and in payment info we have details like which what type of payment method you are using is it an apple pay is it credit card debit card etc so these three are uh, three independent uh, data systems and we are trying to consolidate with into different target systems as you can see as TS1, TS2 and TS3 uh, in this um, diagram. So if, if, if your company go, grows and you have uh, some more systems like trade events and a you know, whole lot of events, then the integrations become essentially very complex. Um, you see here we have three source systems and three target systems and it takes nine integration steps uh, to integrate all these systems so if, if you increase it so if you have a a number of uh, source systems and B number of target systems it's a times B so it's it's really painful to integrate all the systems I particularly have faced when working in the industry to integrate uh, these systems and uh, it, it's really really challenging so Kafka solves this problem so let's let's look into how Kafka can solve this problem so take it take an example where you can store all all this information in a single system and and a scenario where uh, there are consumers who wants this data could consume based on their requirement so for example you have an order message trade message payment message right and you're trying to store this data into kafka so you have placed an order and it has come into Kafka. So you create different topics. So let's discuss what topics is later. But remember topics as tables. So you have stored uh, a day order message in order, order topic. And then you have stored trade message in trade topic and payment message in payment topic. And topics are abstractions of uh, tables. Uh, analogous in database so once you need an information for example this is a consumer one and it needs to consume order related information so it could consume connect to the specific topic called order and it could consume the data it could also subscribe to multiple topics consolidate the data and uh, write it to a persistent system or write it back to Kafka itself so for example my consumer is an order event consumer uh, and then I, I consume orders based on order IDs and then store it into Kafka again by performing some level of transformations or cleaning or whatever. So consumer 2 could be a trade consumer and consumer 3 could be a payment consumer similarly and uh, let's discuss what topics are in a Kafka and what partitions are. So this is our Kafka cluster and we try to store three different topics which are order topics, trade topics and payment topic and rest of it could be a free space and which, which can be used to create other topics in the future. But so let's take an example of order right. So you have placed an order for airports and um, all the information related to orders like airpods or whatever you have placed in last one month or one year or so is stored in um, topic t1 which is another topic right and all the trade topics are st goes into uh, trade topic and all the payment related information goes into payment topic and 
I'm saying six months or one year, especially because Kafka holds all these messages for a certain period of time and then it automatically gets deleted. So you need to be uh, known of the fact that Kafka stores information for a specific period of time and it's temporary. So we need to uh, continuously clean the data from Kafka or you know overwrite the data from Kafka. So let's take an example of how partition works, right? So just to manage uh, tables in an effective way in database systems, we partition the table into uh, different partitions. Uh, similarly, in you know, we can partition topics. So let's uh, see. Let's say we have orders topic, and we we store it into three different partitions, and when we write, when producer can predetermine which top which partition it has to write to and then it writes to that specific partition so in this way we can effectively manage when reading and writing into partitions um, so you, you don't have to uh, scan entire uh, messages so if you have three partitions and if you know which partition to read from you are specifically targeting that partition instead of looking into all the messages in all the partitions right um, so let's study an example with key based partitioning and let's also discuss what uh, what are the effective use cases of key based partitioning and what's not if we don't use a key so in key based partitioning for example you have an order event right you are getting i mean your company has grown very big fortunately and you are consolidating all the data in a kafka cluster so how do you effectively manage your order order topic right so if you create a key based partitioning right and you, your footprint is now in us canada and india uh, you, so you can partition based on the region or country right so all the us based orders goes into us partition and all the canada based based orders goes into canada partition all india based orders goes into india partition uh, in this way, we can effectively manage uh, the data and we, we when consumer is trying to consume the data, it effectively knows which partition to read from instead of you know, looking through each message and filtering it out if, uh, to see if it is from US, Canada or India or not. So this diagram uh, typically consolidates that part. So you have an order producer and the producer predetermines which partition to write to. Right. So if, if the order is received from United States, it checks for that specific key and writes it into US partition, right? And if country is Canada, it writes to Canada partition. If country is India, it writes to India partition. So in this way, we can effectively manage and write to partitions. Thank you.